We're going to go on a journey, you and I, a trip into another dimension, a magical place written and narrated by the Washington Post, where there are so many Russian agents in the United States, they will soon outnumber Americans themselves. President Trump has been disloyal to the United States, not only in giving Russia a leg up in its war against Ukraine, but also in broadcasting his propaganda. And for that, Republicans are just as guilty. I'd like to point out that it was the Democrats who banned the sale of lethal weapons to Ukraine and Republicans who gave Ukraine hundreds of millions of dollars in those weapons. But what's the point? There's no piercing this bubble of unreality and anomaly in the space-time continuum of common sense that the Washington Post exists in. It is up to mainstream media to directly challenge Republicans who, yes, engage in un-American activity. They are deliberately assisting in a Russian propaganda operation. In this wondrous realm that Jennifer Rubin has brought to life, everyone who disagrees with her is a traitor. A traitor is anyone who mentions that Democrats accepted foreign meddling in the election, willfully, eagerly accepted foreign help to try to get Clinton elected. The Democrats cooperated in Ukrainian election meddling. Officials show the surprising lack of interest in the indications of Ukrainian election meddling that deeply concern the president at whose pleasure they serve. During the election, Ukraine released damning information about Trump's then campaign head, Paul Manafort, causing huge damage to the tycoon. In fact, we have audio Artyom Sitnik, a Ukrainian official, using his powers of office, then bragging about, quote, helping Hillary. I didn't help him, Trump. I helped Hillary. It would be better for us. A fact that Ukraine's courts ruled to be interference, election meddling. Ukraine's own courts said that. But in Jennifer's magical kingdom, this isn't true. She crossed out the audio, his admission, the court ruling and cited reports that it's all a Russian psyop. And because she crossed it out, it's no longer true. Just because you tried proving her wrong. If congressional Republicans have evidence our intelligence community is wrong, they need to present it. Otherwise, they need to be called out for deliberately assisting a hostile foreign power. Evidence is something that supports Jennifer's point of view. If it doesn't, it isn't evidence. See, when special counsel Robert Mueller wrote in his report that Russian hackers seemingly and apparently quoted from the report hacked Hillary's servers, that's evidence. But when you give her or her kind an audio recording, a confession and a court ruling, you're an American. In the course of this investigation, I would ask that you please not promote politically driven falsehoods that so clearly advance Russian interests. So if Mueller's good enough for you, let me do him some justice. It appears that Jennifer Rubin is a two-faced hypocrite. Allegedly, she may also be a foreign agent. It seems that she and her kind have done and are doing more damage to America as a nation than anyone else. After all, and correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't rapidly undermining the U.S. government, spreading fear and hate on an industrial scale to every American home, smearing half your country as traitors, isn't that about as un-American as you can be?